What happens when you're left home alone? Oh no. Harry and Marv gonna break in. Everybody knows Home Alone. Parents go on a trip for the holidays. They leave their kid at home. Harry and Marv try to break into the house and the kid senselessly murders both men. And then he gets paraded around the town like he's some goddamn hero, even though he's a murderer. We start with a bat. Lucky for you guys. Ugh, I played Little League when I was a kid. Everyone is so busy preparing for this trip. I'm so excited to go to Paris. I'm gonna bring my bat. I'm gonna bring my <laughs> baseball. Hi guys, I'm Kevin. I'm glad you guys are coming with us to Paris. Shut up, Kevin. No one likes you. We're only coming because your dad's Jeff Bezos. He got us a free trip. Do we really need such a loud counter sound? As if I wouldn't be able to tell if it was counting down. I don't even want to go to Paris. What can you, what can you even do there? Eat snails? That's like it. That's like all you can do. That's the extent of Paris. Kevin, 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 Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Hey, hey, Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Oh! What's that noise? Shut up, ugly. Old man Jolly. What's he doing out there? Why's he got that shovel? We should stay away from him. They say he's a murderer. Nah, they're just making stuff up. He just likes shovels. The trash is where he keeps all his dead bodies. Oh my god. He saw us. He saw us. We're dead. He saw us. We're dead. We are so dead. We're accomplices. We're accomplices in this murder. I'm not going to jail. Come on. Don't say anything. All right, everyone. We leave tomorrow morning, so eat now. I'm gonna eat until I puke. I'll eat until I throw it. I'll eat until I- Kevin, now is not the time for your monologue. I'm trying to eat. Mom, this dinner is terrible. Kevin, what the heck is wrong with you, Kevin? It's delicious. Don't listen, Mrs. Kevin. I was just being honest. Kevin, what are you doing, man? Mrs. Kevin, should I take out the vat? Teach Kevin a thing or two about using his smart mouth. Go to the attic, you and all your friends. Nice, Kevin. I wasn't even done eating. Kevin, you're on dead ice, buddy. No one even likes you to begin with. The only reason we're going on this trip is because it's free and your dad's Jeff Bezos. Jeffy B. Stay in here until morning. Why is this lady floating? Is she some sort of paranormal activity? I wish we would never have to see any of you guys again. <laughs> you don't mean that, Kevin. Wow, that hurts, son. I think Kevin's mom just shot herself. At least we're going to Paris tomorrow. I hate my parents taking me and all my friends to Paris. Ugh, I hate that. I don't want to go to Paris, eat the snail. I want to stay home, play Halo 3 with my bros. <laughs> Snores loud. Oh my god, he's dead! He's dead! <laughs> oh, everybody laugh at that guy. Kevin, so far, gotta say, your sleepovers kind of suck. Two people have died so far, and you're a total jerk to your parents. What is wrong with you? At least Harry and Marv are here. Oh man, I can't wait for this lemon family to leave. Me too, robbing an empty house is so easy. Let's go get some rest before we steal everything in this house tomorrow. Everyone wake up! We're late for Perry. It's not going anywhere. What are we so, what are we so worried about losing? What, are we gonna, what is the Eiffel Tower gonna run away? <laughs> Quickly, let's go wake up the adults. They're already on the plane. I've seen the movie Home Alones. Did his parents really make us sleep in the attic? You know what, on second thought, I'm glad Kevin said those things. Because not only do I hate Kevin, I also hate his family now. I hope they get robbed. I'm glad. I'm glad to be here. This is fun. Do you guys see them anywhere? Dude, you're an idiot, dude. You missed it. <laughs> way too loud. Way, way too loud. That was way too loud. I'm so scared. I'm going... Sorry, guys. I just... When I'm, when I'm nervous... There's nothing even down here, Kevin. You're such a square. I hate you. Let's throw Kevin in the furnace. Let's throw Kevin in the furnace. <laughs> I'm scared of that furnace. Wow, we really made them disappear. Our wish came true. <laughs> we can do anything we want. We're free. Meanwhile, on the plane, I feel like we're forgetting something. Like seven or eight children that we were supposed to accompany to Paris. You always think that. Relax. Everything's fine. We're not forgetting any people. No, no children in our attic. Meanwhile, outside the house. Oh man, the Lemon family's gone. They're finally gone! I can't wait to rob this house! It's gonna be so easy, boss! Alright guys, get your bats out. I thought no one was supposed to be home. Hey, what's the big idea? Monet was supposed to leave for Paris in the morning. Let's come back 9 o'clock when no one's home. They almost got struck by lightning. Let's go to the store and buy supplies. You know, Harry and Marv, I like them, they're alright. But sometimes they don't know their boundaries, you know? How did we get here? How did we get it? Okay, guys, we need a hammer, glue, rope, and wood. 
The cashiers are not gonna say a thing. Just sell this 12 year old rope. Go ahead. Who cares what I'm gonna do with it? Kevin, why is there a van following us? Oh, that's just Harry and Marv. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Don't worry about them. They're fine. All right, let's go into the woods. Much safer in these dark woods where no one can hear us scream. Yeah, nice idea, Kevin. Our house is right across this lake. Yeah, this is gonna be like Squid Game. People are gonna start dropping like flies. Sketch, don't die. Don't worry, I got this. I ran track in high school. Check it. Kevin, how did you get over here, Kevin? Did you know a secret shortcut that you didn't tell us because you wanted to see us all freeze in this freaking lake then die? Finally, let's go home. Okay, you said it was right here. Oh, it's old man Jolly. Hi, kids. I could really use a dollar. Get away from me, you murderer! Please, it's Christmas. Don't you want to help an old man? Maybe we should give him a dollar. He just needs a dollar. Let's give him a dollar. What could he possibly- what, what is he gonna do with a dollar? Guys, you can, you can buy a Big Mac, all right? Give him, give him enough for a Big Mac. Karma is gonna come back and he's gonna kill us, guys, because we didn't give him that dollar. At least if there's a serial killer in your town, you're gonna wanna try to befriend him if you can't- I mean, it, it, what other options do you have? All right, let's board up the windows. Give me that. Put that right there. You ever seen anybody put up wood planks on a window faster than me? Probably not. Yeah, thanks for all the help, Kevin. Freeloader. You're never gonna be nothing, Kevin. You're not gonna be self-made like Jeffy B. <laughs> Quiet, they should be here any minute. Surprise, we know you're in there. Kill him. Kill him. Bash his head in. Die. Ah! Got him. We gave him severe concussion and brain damage. Oh, he's mad. And he's also bleeding profusely. <laughs> is Harry a supernatural being? What? What is that? Harry. Harry, why are you so scary? I thought you were just a regular guy. He was a lot funnier in the movie. Why did nobody come up here? We are so safe. If he comes up here, we'll just like sneak attack. Ah! Oh my god! He doesn't even have to use the stairs. Harry really be out here murdering all these children? Why me, Harry? Harry. Quick, run to the basement. Oh, how convenient. I'm in the attic. Wow, we're the only ones left. That's crazy. Harry really did murder everybody. Everyone hide inside the closet by the furnace. Why is he walking like that? He got a dumpy. Why don't we just hit him in the back of the head? Hit him in the back of the head and throw him in the furnace. The perfect crime. Follow me upstairs. Oh, back into the attic where we already were? What a genius idea, Kevin. We can get to the treehouse by going out the window. Okay. What is- Kevin, you have the most elaborate treehouse system known to man. You kids are trapped now. You guys are- child murderers you're going away forever you ain't never getting out of prison please don't die this would be a terrible place to die oh that's it oh that's it kevin oh that's it we made it it's a christmas miracle we survived ain't that right sport you think you got away we are coming i don't believe them they're lying find the scissors why would you have oh, oh it's right here i got it <laughs> we have to burn the tree down your beard is not even fitting on your face. What is happening? Are you sure? That seems a little crazy. You guys just murdered like six kids. You're not even, you haven't stolen a single thing. Oh, there it goes. Well, it was nice knowing you. So what, we're just dead? Okay. Oh, oh, what? What is going on with my body? Why does my body look like that? Why am I so wrinkly? That's the end of the story. So we die in a burning tree house? That's how the story ends? Uh, 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 I, I'm looking around, dude. I don't, I'm so confused. What was that? Was that the holiday special? God, I'm gonna have to have like counseling after this. What was there a moral? What? Uh, what? You, you know what? Never mind. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm just gonna leave.